go hello everyone good day again you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Akin fish and today i'm going to be sharing three easy ways for you to go into fish farming all right now um i get a lot of requests a lot of questions that oh i want to start my fish farm how do i start my fish farm um and you know maybe when you realize the capital requirements of really going into fish business full time it can be very discouraging however if you don't start it cannot grow it's what you start that can grow all right so i understand um starting small i think you should start small um i think you should go into the business as easy as you can and then allow the business grow so today as i said i'm going to share three easy ways for you to go into them all right and maybe with a capital cap of maybe max of one million naira how you can go into fish farming with less than one million naira would you like to hear that Okay, so uh, my idea number one is fish processing, all right? Now, um, what I mean by fish processing is that rather than think of starting my fish business and say, oh, I want to start my farm, why don't you buy a fish smoking oven, all right? Something like this behind me. Let me show you, all right? So this is a fish smoking oven, all right? You can see the whole thing. It's just it's not much more than this, all right? And this is our fish smoking oven. You can see that we've been smoking fish in it. All right, um, this is our fish smoking oven as a thermometer has both gas and coal futures, and you can have this. I mean, you too, you know, you can have this in your house, it's just a small unit. And if maybe this one is too big, um, we have a smaller version here. All right, so you know, you can have a smaller version here. And basically, the idea is that instead of starting a farm from oh, or starting fish business from oh, I want to have a farm. Start it from buy a smoking kiln, all right? Then go to the market or go to a farmer and buy 100 kg of fish, all right? So once you buy the 100 kg of fish, you have your own oven. You smoke it. Do you know that processed food costs much more than ordinary food? Golden more is more expensive than corn, all right? So smoked fish, processed fish, or maybe I shouldn't say smoke because right now they don't want us to use smoke again. They say carbon content is too much in our fish that we should use dried fish or processed fish all right processed fish is much more than it's more expensive than raw fish or live fish that is bought from the farm many of those small fish that you see in supermarkets are not farmed by those people they just buy the fish process it and they have a product all right so you can export your fish if it's 25 kg and under you don't need to go through fda navdac you don't need it if it's 25 kg and under it will fly to any country all right and then you can also sell your fish around you so if you have a if you are thinking of starting low budget you don't necessarily need to backward integrate to starting a farm just have a oven buy the fish smoke it and you are in the fish business already now that you now know you need fish okay you can then backward integrate to having your own farm do you get that but it's a quick easy in into fish farming so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you the calculations of it all right i'm going to show you the profit margins of it i will show you um how much you buy the oven how much smoking how much fish you might need like your first venture the cost of coal and then we'll like do a little analysis together so that's coming up right now hello so i thought to help you with some calculations as we explore this fish processing um idea all right so number one is that you will need to get the oven the oven is what i showed you now um our ovens or ovens you can get can be either gas coal or even electricity powered but the electricity powered ones are not efficient financially do you get that so you probably will be dancing between gas and coal and from my own personal experience you discover that coal are cheaper in the long run right using coal is cheaper in the long run all right so um the cost of the oven is about three hundred and fifty thousand naira today however please note that transportation is not included yet because i don't know where you are <laughs> so transportation is not included yet then um the you know you need a shed like a place to keep the oven right so that rain will not be beating it when you're smoking your fishes so i'm assuming that you already have that all right no everything will not be do you, everything will not be um purchased i'm assuming that you want to go into fish farming cheaply 
then you should there are some things you can play around you should have a shed that you can keep it or a place that you can keep the oven do you get then knives and bowls i'm not expecting that you say we are buying that one now do you understand <laughs> later as the business grows old you can buy but for now borrow the knives from your neighbor that you need to work so these three items let's call them fixed expense because it's not like you'll be buying it again once you buy it once you've bought it do you understand so they will not be when we are calculating our profits we won't put these ones there yet i know you can amortize um, fixed expense over a long run and all of all those business terminologies but for now let's just play around this i mean you can do you know your own precise calculations do you understand so now let's come into what it will take to run it so we have the fish which we will buy smoking size all right so the idea of the smoking size is that the fish is between 300 gram to 500 gram it smokes better all right it smokes better it's able to preserve for longer all right and what the truth is people preferred cut sizes than whole sized fish so let me give you an example if you see the fish pack and they're like one fish is cut into three pieces you know that a family can buy a pack and everybody will get a piece but if the fish pack is one whole rounded fish it's not it's not um, according to our Nigerian standards. It it does not cover the whole family. Do you get what I mean? You don't want to give one child one whole fish. Well, you can if you are a millionaire. Do you get what I mean? But that cut piece is just sells faster. All right. So melange is sold for one five per kg. Then salt, which you will need to you know salt the fishes. If you say hey, you have one spice, that one is up to you. But salt with fish is good enough. Then coal that you use to smoke your fishes, so 5 kg of it is 5,000 naira. Do you understand? The nylon and packaging. And truth be told, the packaging is up to you. Do you understand? You can decide, ah, I want to put sticker on my own. It will be more expensive than 5,000 naira. Do you get that? Uh -huh. You know, this 20 pieces here is for this fish, 100 kg of fish that we are smoking. Do you get that? So, um, you have the nylon packaging. All right, package you can put a sticker on top so that you know your product starts you know making sense and then labor per day job because I expect that you pay yourself for the work, but it's just one person. Do you get so that's five thousand naira? Then I put a miscellaneous of ten thousand because you might need to do one or two things. So the total expense is five hundred and twenty-six thousand naira to set up to start to launch out. However, out of this five hundred and twenty-six thousand naira, don't forget that. 350,000 naira is from your oven, which is a fixed cost. Other things is operation cost. So let's move to how much you'll make. So first, fish is 75% water. So 100 kg of smoking size will shrink to 25 kg after drying. All right? That's after you process it, it will shrink to 25 kg. And 1 kg of dry fish is sold at 8,000 naira to 10,000 naira per kg. Walk into your supermarket and verify. Just go to the next supermarket close to you and say you want to buy smoked fish. And check the pack. Check the weight. And check the price. So that, I mean, you want to do this business. Don't take my word for it. Go into the nearest supermarket to you and verify. But supermarket sales is slow sales. It's people that have chop money and you can just drop it in a supermarket and be hoping. Other than that, I expect that you should be proactive with your market sell your your fish sell your market in your people gatherings church um, events your mosque you know anywhere people gather take your fish there you will sell it all right so now this 25 kg that our 100 kg of fish has smoked has dried through is sold at 8000 naira per kg so the total income in is 200000 naira do you understand and then your profit is 200,000 naira minus 176,000, which is a total of all your running expense. Don't forget, I know the total you saw outside there was five something, but that's because of your oven. So the running expense is 176,000, and so you make a profit of 24,000 naira. Now, the deal here is that this smoked fish, you can sell everything in one day. Do you get? And you get 13.63%. So this whole thing is something you can do within two weeks, three weeks from now. Like get your oven probably takes like two weeks to deliver get your fish like the next day bang 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 you've entered fish business do you understand and within one month from this conversation 
mean your fish is out you've sold it you can start turning it over who says you have to do 100 kg you can even do 200 kg do you understand and your profit can be more in the sense that i put 8000 naira as the fish sales price when you go to the supermarket what did you find out you found out that some were selling at 10k abi uh, you can sell your own more you can sell your own less the truth is it all depends on you and your business prowess great so that is that for the fish processing side all right um the second easy way to go into fish is that you lease a fish pond all right so there are a lot of farms around you you just don't know but if you ask you will find out that there are a lot of farms around you that will lease their earthen ponds to you or even concrete ponds I me mean, i don't like leasing concrete ponds don't ask me why but for earthen ponds you see a lot of them and they lease it for you like 12 calendar months all right and you can raise your fish in it so i mean one of such farms where you can actually lease your where you can actually lease your pond and the eating ponds are i mean you know that we, we can't do anything as good as what god does so fishes you put in eating pond do very well all right now some things you should look out for in your eating pond now i'll show you the eating pond to my left now and you will see that you cannot hear the sound of generator or you cannot see the sound of fuel but you can see that water is coming every water is coming in steady so look at this this is dry season and you can see water still coming into the pond so a lot of these farms lease out their ponds for anything between 60 to 100 thousand naira for a calendar year maybe 60 to 120 because some people will lease out 60 thousand for six months so that's 120 for a whole year all right so now let's look at that you did not build the farm the farm is secured all right of course i mean these are things you will check out for right that the farm is safe the farm is secure that you don't necessarily need to spend money in changing water all right all you need to do is come lease the pond clear the pond net the pond all right something like this look at this pond that is net beside me now you can see it is net to avoid predators from coming in all right and then you know you have not put in so much money into fixed infrastructure all right the only money you've put into fixed infrastructure is leasing the pond so if you lease the pond one two three maybe one pond two pond three ponds you put fish in and then you put fish maybe every other month so that you don't just have fish come out once do you get that you can have fish come out in phases and then you start feeding your fish you're already a fish businessman without having to put in so much into fixed capital all right so that's another way you should think about it. however i must warn you all right don't lease an eating pond that you live far away from mm -hmm. because unless you can unless you trust the owner of the farm you will need to be feeding your fish every day and so that means if you are feeding your fishes twice a day as you feed in the morning you feed in the evening put that in consent into consideration when you select the site for this venture all right so you must or maybe they have or maybe you hire a staff that lives around the area to make sure that the person is feeding the fish calculate it how much is your own transport fare to the farm every day vis-a-vis -vis paying somebody to actually do that so with that you have your pond you have your fish and you're one leg already into the fish farming business all right so i'm going to do a calculation for you like a cost estimate for you to see how much it will cost you to do that as a venture great so this is the financial calculation for leasing an eating pond all right now number one leasing the eating pond is for a year all right for 12 months of course some people will lease it for you some people collect six months from you but i just put hundred thousand here to lease the pond for one year now you will get people to clear the pond because i don't know the state of the pond when you get it so they will demod they will clear the pond you pay those people 5k each for one day job they will finish it in one day do you get that then you will net the pond all right so just buy single use net the nylon one the, there is a cutting one that is more expensive but you don't need it just buy the single use that once you use it once you discard it do you get that it's 10k use it and it present it prevents um private predators you saw it in the video i posted then you buy juveniles all right so juveniles are the baby fishes that you introduce to your pond all right so um the juveniles are 40 naira if you buy 10 grams juvenile now the idea of 10 gram juvenile is that the juvenile should be big enough before they enter the eating pond i don't like to put fingerlings in the eating pond they are very fragile 
and anything can happen. But once they are big enough, they enter juvenile, you know that ah, they are big enough, they can swim, they can play, they can do anything they want to do inside the pond. Do you get that? Then you buy feed. All right. Now, I budgeted 1,000 Naira per fish to feed one fish to one kg. However, who says your fish has to stay to one kg? This feeding budget is that is assuming that you are keeping the fishes for six months. Meanwhile, I mean, at three months, your fish is already melange. You can sell it if you want to. Four months, five months, six months, you know, you can sell your fish anytime. So your feed budget does not have to get to one million naira. All right. So use that as a benchmark for any other thing I say. All right. For instance, now I put staff here and I put feeding. All right, 10k per month because I don't assume that if you lease a pond, wherever you get the pond to lease, will be very close to your house. That oh, you can go there every day. No, I would prefer that you even find somebody in the area. Do you understand? I'm sure somebody already walks around the place that you will pay 10k per month to feed your fishes morning and evening. However, you now monitor the person, no, it's totally up to you. I have some tricks if you ask me, I will tell you. All right, so I have some tricks of how to monitor those and monitor your feed so that they don't use your feed to feed another person's fish. But all of those is conversations you will have with the people you meet there. Do you understand? Great. Now, because it's an eating pond, some people's eating pond water comes in by itself and goes out by itself so you don't need to change water however i think for responsible fish farmers you still want to say oh okay i'm even changing water maybe once every two months or something like that so you can even see your fishes at the base of the pond and know where you are and then i put miscellaneous of twenty thousand. so this total budget of 1.270 1 million 270 thousand one million there is feed which as i mentioned you don't necessarily have to keep your feed your fish for that long all right and then even the even the um feed the the lease of the pond is hundred thousand in this meanwhile if we do the running cost of it it's actually 60 50 000 divided by uh, 100 000 divided by two fifty thousand per batch of fish you understand if you are doing that for six months so let's move again to the incoming funds so yes the pond was leased for one year don't forget you, you, once you stock your fishes after six months, see, fishes will eat themselves. So let's assume that you've lost 15% to mortality after six months. That's, so you are left with about 850 fishes. All right? If you feed well in an 18 pond, though, you should get at least one kg in six months. Some will be more. Some will be bigger. That is, some will be less. All fishes will not grow equally. It's livestock. Do you get that? Now, a kg of fish currently is sold at 1,600 naira per kg. You can go to the closest market next to you, market, and verify. Go there and find out. You're about to do a business. You should be able to walk on the street and find questions. And do you understand? Because these are the people you sell your fishes to. However, bulk reseller sales, that is, if you just say, somebody should just come and pack all your fishes, is lazy sales. The person who wants to go and sell it somewhere else to make money. So you have to sell your market in your people gatherings. You can sell everything in one day. Somebody can have an event and say, oh, he needs 500 fishes, he needs 1,000 fishes, and everything is gone in one day. But because it's an 18 pond, once you drag your fishes, do you understand? Once you harvest, you harvest everything in one day because you cannot harvest small, pump the water down. You know, the water is a huge volume, and then expect that, oh, you will come back again and pump it another day. And no, the fishes will die from too much stress. So when you're doing 18 pond sales, you sell everything in one day. So now we have 850 fishes. I know it's not sacrosanct. As I said, it's an average. Some will be bigger, some will be lesser. All right. Um, so 850 kg, and then they are sold one six per kg. So you have one million three sixty thousand. All right. So calculating your profit again is one hundred and fifty thousand from your total expenses. Now it's one million two ten here because I divided the lease of the pond by two. 100,000 into 2. Do you get that? And so your profit here is 12.39%. Again, it can be more in the sense that your fishes can do well and you know you get more than 1 kg averagely. You even get less mortality. And maybe you are even able to sell it much more than 1.6. Do you get that? You know, if you're, that, or it can be less. Truth is, it all depends on you and your business prowess. So yes, we'll move to the third idea on how to get into fish farming cheaply great so you've seen the second part of how you can start your fish ponds with 18 ponds right now this is my third point all right 
you can start with mobile fish ponds all right so these mobile fish ponds are ponds that you will set up in your house it can even be a rented apartment the idea of it is that it's mobile it can be moved all right so with this you can have like two or three of these mobile ponds in at the back of your house just make sure you have water that is you have like a borehole all right don't think well well is not enough but if you say well we supply you maybe you know better than me but i think like you need a borehole source of water so that water is not a challenge i mean it's aquaculture you are culturing something inside water you should know that water should not be your problem also where to drain the water is important all right don't say hey, i will dig a hole for the water to go inside no it never works trust me they just use it to collect your money after the first time you pump water inside second time the water will not go again and then you've just lost your money so make sure you have water and you have a drainage a place to drain your water to before you consider this idea but thereafter just find a space all right so this space that i'm standing in is about maybe 30 by 10 feet all right just like the backyard of your house all right and you can set up your mobile ponds so you can set up your mobile ponds using either wood or galvanized iron we're setting up one here i will show you this video when we are done we'll finish it today within like two hours or three hours all right and then you have your fish ponds at the back of your house you put 200 fishes and you started your fish business all right so and you know that you can move it to somewhere else so most of these things are things to just even start saying oh okay my foot is in the game oh how can i then grow how can i learn you know so you're trying to start small right how can you learn and then grow the business so i'm going to show you an analysis of the mobile fish ponds the cost of it how much fishes it will take and maybe i'll also just do a bonus point of how much feed um, you can prepare or plan to feed your fishes all right so with your mobile fish ponds now imagine if that mobile fish pond you now have an oven beside it are you not already a, <laughs> you are both doing production and processing do you get that so mm. don't think um, so fish farming is something you can start small however don't stay small all right don't think that it is from that two pounds three pounds you build your house in abuja no but it's enough for you to start learn the business and grow the area all right so once again my name is aki fish i'm going to show you the calculation of the fish ponds of the mobile fish ponds now and then when we are done building the ponds i'll round up this video hello so you're welcome to the final idea of how to get into fish farming. Now, we had talked about the fish processing. We've talked about the leasing of an eating pond. And now we come into making, setting up a mobile fish pond in your house. All right. So now the mobile fish ponds, um, you get two of it. All right. So that's 10 by 7 by 4 feet in dimensions. 4 feet is the height of the pond. 10 by 7 is the length and the breadth of the pond. And each of these ponds will take 500 fishes. All right. So it costs 140,000 naira each. Now, we've not added transportation to your location because I don't know where you are. <laughs> Do you understand? So two of this is 280,000. Do you get that? I'm saying it now because when it comes to the final addition and you're like, oh, how did he get this much? It's because you get two of the mobile fish ponds. It helps with sorting, you understand? And it helps with also staggering your fishes. So 500 fishes each. Then you buy a net, the nylon net that I told you that is single use. Buy it and cover the top of the pond. I'm assuming that you don't have like a roof. Do you understand? To cover it, just put nylon on top so that birds do not come and eat your small fishes. Then you buy juveniles, all right? I've spoken about this earlier, 40 naira, 10 gram juveniles, all right? Then you buy feed, 1,000 naira per, key, per fish, 1,000 fishes is 1 million. I've also emphasized earlier that you don't necessarily need to feed this long. I'm just putting this here as a base value, all right? Then staff, I'm expecting that you will take care of this by yourself. It's just two ponds in your house, all right? I mean, and you are trying to enter fish farming easily. So it's not like you're not saying, hey, uh, you now outsource your job no it's very easy to manage you do it by yourself all right then since you live in the place or i mean somebody lives where you're setting up the fish ponds or you know there's access there then you change water whenever there's light all right as soon as there's light just change the water all right so that you don't wait till when next because normally you can change water every three days or two days but once there's light change water 20k all right i budgeted 20k that for that over expense and then a miscellaneous of 50,000 naira because I mean, this is like a mobile structure, something you might need a plumber, you might need something. So, miscellaneous of 50,000. So, that brings your total budget to 1,430,000 naira. However, don't forget, 280,000 of this is two ponds that are yours permanently. Do you get that? 
and then the feed of one million naira you don't necessarily have to feed for six months from three months four months your fish is ready for sales do you get that so let's go again to the incoming fund now i've mentioned the pond is yours permanently it's mobile and you can move it to a new location you understand it's not even a concrete pond that is like a permanent structure that devalues the land no the mobile fish pond is something you can easily set up as you have seen i'll show you again just as we end this video then stocking 1000 fishes should be less 10 percent mortality because you can sort more efficiently here than 18 ponds you know the 18 ponds is big once you pour the fish in it's a mental task for you to even say you are sorting but this one every time you drain the water you can easily move the small ones to the big side and big ones to the small every time you change the water do you get that it's quick quick thing then staff cost is reduced because i mean it's just two pounds i'm expecting you to handle this by yourself and if you feed well you should get to one kg some will be more some will be less fishes won't all grow equally do you get that now one fish one kg of fish is sold at one eight per piece because so go to the nearest market and verify you are not selling this as a bulk you are selling it per piece so bulk reseller sales is lazy sales and now for these mobile pounds you don't have to sell it off in one day you can be selling your your fishes gradually somebody wants five pieces sell it to him somebody wants 10 pieces sell it to him so you sell it off do you understand i sell it in pieces don't sell it per kg you are not under pressure like the ethane pond that you've dragged it once you've you want to have it you have it everything one day no this one anytime anybody come you'll be selling it do you understand so assuming that you have 900 fishes left because it's 10 percent mortality and you sell each fish at one eight per fish do you understand you're not selling package you're selling per piece you understand all those barbecue joints and everything their fish is three five half of it the only thing there is fish so they should be able to buy your fish for one eight per piece and once you're even selling this to like people and trust me you will sell it one eight per fish easily your total incoming is one million six hundred and twenty thousand naira do you get that and your total expense is one million four hundred and thirty thousand all right now don't forget out of this one million four hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and eighty thousand of it is actually fixed cost that's your your mobile pawns that are yours all right but i just still included it in this so that you can see like some of the advantages of using like a mobile fish pond so your total profit is one hundred and ninety thousand all right and your percentage margin is 13.28 however it can be more it can be less it depends on how you manage your enterprise by yourself i mean this is a business that you will need to grow fish farming is not a get rich quick scheme it's a business you need to be patient about and grow so this is an example of what i'm showing you you can see this person's oven now see his ponds you can see the fish ponds just two fish ponds and he has at the back of his house and he has his oven all right so let me open the oven for you to see all right now look this is the oven see fish inside smokes his fish processes his fish is done at the back of his house and it's a fish business those are his ponds and let's go back to our class yes so it's been a long day but as you've seen we have finished building these ponds and we built it today we have four ponds here and they are of different dimensions so with this you can see that with this small space at least I will do more than 1,000 fishes with four ponds here. Come and see the ponds. All right. So um, this is, look at the ponds. One, two, three, four. Great. So with this, I mean, yes, you should be able to start your fish ponds. And the beautiful thing about these mobile ponds is number one is mobile. All right. Meaning that you can do this in a rented apartment. You can do this behind your house. You can do this in front of your house. You can do this anywhere. And with this, if you need to move to another location, you dismantle your thing, you carry your thing, and you take it somewhere else. It also does not disfigure land. It's not like a concrete pond that is permanent structure. Do you understand? If I decide to turn my land to other uses, I mean, whoop, the pond is moved. Do you get that? Also, you know that concrete pond, most times it will leak. And you will have to put liners inside, like tarpaulin inside. That's the permanent structure. If anybody is ever deceiving you as we ask concrete ponds, the permanent way of fixing a concrete pond is putting liner inside so if you're going to put liner inside why don't you just put then why don't you just do the mobile pumps from the beginning do you get that and with this you can now start out your production look at this small space behind me we have four ponds so every month i can stock one pond stock one pond what will happen is that by the fifth pond by the fifth month 
and we have one pond that is ready for fish each time do you get and with this i can maximize my stock my my area i can sell fish every day because it's just that small pond i can drain the pond get it back up do you understand but if it's an eating pond you know i cannot drain it i will wait so that i sell my buy my fish once because once i drain the water i want to sell my fishes completely do you get that but with a mobile pond with this kind of setup i can sell to pepper soup joints around me if they ask for 50 i will give them 50. do you get what i mean it's easy to manage but basically i just wanted to tell you that those are three ways by which you should start it, an easy way to start your fish venture now the truth is this is not the business or this is not the scale of the business that will make you buy that lamborghini you want to buy but it will teach you enough to start all right i personally believe that every business is profitable but i think that there should be like a comp competitive advantage there should be a reason why you are doing this either oh you have the time you know this is even something you can do for like parents do you get just they will come in the morning they will feed in the evening they will feed fish is the simplest thing to manage as long as water is clean there is no issue do you get that as long as you have water for the fish you are fine so um you know this is enough for you to learn the business and then decide to either scale or realize that the business is not for you all right so once again my name is Akin fish if you have any question please drop it in the comment section you can like this video to just say that wow and just encourage me all right <laughs> and subscribe to my youtube channel all right bye bye